Brian Eno, and Eno director Gary Hustwit on the genesis of the documentary. I, um, Brian graciously uh, agreed to do the music for uh, my previous film, Rams. And around that time, I was kind of like you know, working with him, but also kind of asking, well, why isn't there a career-spanning, uh, you know, all-encompassing documentary about you, Brian? And um, at the time, I think, one, <clears throat> you know, he, Brian is always focusing on, the, on what's next, on the future, and um, is, is, has been, I think, um, reticent to continue to go back and talk about the, you know, the past and the, um, you know, get too kind of wound up in that work instead of, you know, rather than innovating and, and continuing on. But, um, but also, I think maybe the, the constraints of a normal bio doc or something that, that um, he, he can, he can tell, tell you um, his thoughts on it. But anyway, the idea around the same time, I was thinking about this idea of, like, can I make a film that changes? I, I wanted to um, see that, and Brian seemed like the perfect subject, so when I emailed Brendan um, back in 2019, and we kind of did a, a little bit of a demo version of, of what you saw, and um, and met with Brian and, and showed it to him, and, and you, you can take it from there, Brian. Yeah, so it's actually the important point, I think, that you made there was that the, I didn't really want to do a an ordinary documentary because I, I always find them frustrating. Any documentary I've ever seen about anybody I know, I thought has missed out most of the interesting things about them. Um, and of course, you know, anyone who's making a documentary has to take an editorial stance of some kind. Um, you know, what you choose to show is, is an editorial decision. Um, but I like this because there was the possibility of showing a lot of things and showing things that might be quite incompatible with one another. Um, you know, documentarians tend to want to make a particular story. And I didn't want to be a particular story. I liked the idea of, of a film that worked the same way that my music works, which is to say with a, a fairly high degree of randomness in it, and often a, a high degree of non-repetition as well. Um, so it's, it suited me conceptually much better than also, Gary didn't want me to do too many interviews, which was a huge relief. <laughs> <laughs>